In this video, I'm going to show you a 30-day fitness challenge for over 40s who are short on time. I'm gonna show you the workouts, the strategy, the protocol, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of nutrition into it, plus give you some tips outside of your workout routine. But before we get started, we help busy over 40s get in shape with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week in the next six weeks. If you wanna find out how we do it, check the first link in the description and download our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. Grüezi Vitran, Gregory von Leberstakia. Let's jump right into the 30 day fitness challenge. We have 30 days. We do two workouts during these 30 days, twice per week. We wanna check our nutrition and we also wanna increase our NEAT or NEAT. Let's jump into the workout first. We have workout number one. It consists out of the following protocol. We have a warm up that consists out of 10 knee push-ups and 10 body weight squats. We do three to five supersets. Depending on your level of fitness, if you're rather a beginner, you stick to the three sets. If you're a little bit advanced, you stick to the five sets. These are supersets. This means you do the 10 knee push-ups with the 10 body weight squats consecutively unbroken. Once you're done with the warm-up, we jump into the kettlebell part, which is the main workout. The first exercise is 10 kettlebell strict press per side. Simple as it gets, we press the kettlebell overhead and rack it back down. Then we have a flow. We combine the hang deadlift with the row. Again, we do 10 reps per side. Then we have 10 goblet squats. One of the best kettlebell exercises, period. And we top it all off with 10 thrusters. This is a tough one, which is going to challenge you. We do three sets per exercise. Once we're done with the main part, we have a finisher in order to empty the tank. Simple stuff, 10 double hand swings for five sets. You can rest in between reps as well as sets. You wanna follow the RPE and the wrap protocol. RPE means you rest according to your perceived exertion and wrap means you rest as briefly as possible. Let's jump into workout number two. Again, we have ourselves a warm-up. We do 10 overhead squats and 10 one pump burpees. This is going to be a little bit tougher than workout number one. Again, we do three to five sets depending on your level of fitness. And again, these are supersets which means we combine the overhead squat with the one palm burpee in an unbroken fashion. And the main dish arrives, again, with the power of the almighty kettlebell. Exercise number one is the hand-to-hand -hand swing, the bread and butter of kettlebell training. Exercise number two is the clean, the bigger brother of the swing. Exercise number three is the clean and press, which trains the full body and is also one of the best exercises of kettlebells, period. And exercise number four is the snatch, which trains your full body all at once. We train one minute per exercise unbroken, and we split the volume equally between left and right. Once you've done all exercises, you have one round, then you rest for one minute, and we do three to four rounds total. And as a powerful finisher, we grab the heaviest kettlebell that we have, and we do a suitcase walk for 100 meters per side. For week one and three, you do workout one twice a week. Week two and four is workout number two twice a week. You wanna rest enough in between workouts, which means at least 48 hours. If you're a woman and you're just getting started with the kettlebell, you're gonna grab an eight kg. If you're a man who's getting started with kettlebells, you're going to grab a 12 kg. And just in case if you're wondering what kind of kettlebell I'm using, it's the Perot kettlebell by my friend Nikolai Puchlov, proudly made in the USA. There's five things that I love about the Pro kettlebell. Number one, the contoured arm pockets that fit well on the clean, as well as with the snatch. This means beginners will feel right at home and professionals can get rid of their calluses 
on the forearms. The second thing I love is the high quality texture finish on the handle, which doesn't turn your hands into hamburger meat when you do lots of swings and ballistics in general. And this also means that you don't have to use a lot of chalk. Number three is the ergonomics. The Pro Kettlebell is a little bit smaller than the standard competition kettlebells, which means the weight sits closer to your center of mass. You feel it in the rack position and you get that immediate super flow feeling when you engage into the ballistics. Number four is the wide hollow car base, which makes it a safe option if you do kettlebell exercises on the floor, such as a handle push-up. <sighs> Number five is the second grip because of the wide hollow car base, which lets you do curls and presses and exercises that you can do with other kettlebells. There are even more benefits, such as a safe option of a magnetic weight chip that you can add inside the hollow core base of your kettlebell and make it heavier. Check the link in the description to get your pro kettlebell right now. And don't forget to use our code LEWISTARK to get 10% off your next purchase. Now let's briefly talk about the nutrition system for your next 30 days. Step number one, Count your calories for the next seven days. Step number two, take the average and subtract 200 calories per day. This should lead us into a calorie deficit. And a calorie deficit is important because many of us who choose to engage with kettlebells or choose to engage in challenges want to lose weight and build a little bit of muscle. Now once you divide these 200 calories from your average, use this as maintenance. For example, if you find out that during these seven days, your average is 2,500 calories, you're now gonna stick to 2,300 calories every day. In order to maintain and maybe even build a little muscle mass, we wanna keep the protein intake high. This equals about 1.5 grams per kilogram body weight. Now let's talk about NEAT, a neat little system of the human body. You see what I did there? NEAT stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. These are calories that you burn through fidgeting, moving, walking around that have nothing to do with training and are not sports induced. Now how can you increase your NEAT throughout a seven day period? I have a couple of suggestions for you. Do yard work as much as you can. Park your car as far away as possible from the supermarket. Do not take your cart to the car, but unload the groceries and then farmers walk your food to your car. Cut grass manually. This is pushing and pulling, which is great for the human body. Simple and easy exercise. Clean your car by hand. Again, you're fidgeting, you're moving, this burns calories. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Go on multiple short walks or a couple of long walks per day. Aim to get at least five to 10,000 steps in. And finally, start brisk walks. If you have an average tempo currently, try to add 10 to 15% more pace. Simple stuff, you just wanna walk faster. I believe that if you follow this 30 day fitness challenge to a T, you will see results after these 30 days. The powerful thing about body weight and kettlebell exercises is that you can do them at home. And these workouts don't take you long to complete. There's two things to succeed. Number one is to start doing. That's what you are currently doing because you're watching this video and I hope you're already prepping for the challenge. And number two is to keep going. And Dan John, my mentor, follows up with saying that most people don't keep going. Here's the issue. It's not about doing a lot for a short period of time and then stop. Rather, we wanna do a little bit, but for an indefinite amount of time. Share your results under that video write a comment and use it as your accountability to keep us posted about your progress. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean the press and like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells. And if you made it this far, consider downloading our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. Listen, if you're over 40, 50 or 60, you don't have a lot of time, but you still wanna take care of your fitness. That's why the kettlebell is such a powerful 
too. You can get a lot done in a very short amount of time. And in the ebook, I'm going to show you how. So click that first link in the description. It's 100% free.